Good morning everyone. Today is Sunday morning. It's just gone 11. I've just filmed a makeup tutorial on this look here. I don't know how you're going to pick it up. It's like a smoky eye using, like a copper smoky eye. Perfect for sort of, you know, autumn time. It's something I might put it up. Um, using the new two palette from the Balm. And a little bit of the Carly by Bell palette. Um, I've got to film another video. Then I'm going to do myself something to eat. Kiki, what's going on outside? Kiki. Hello. Who's that? Oh, I can't see you. You're just like a silhouette. Oh, one thing I've got to tell you about actually that's super duper funny. One of my neighbours last night had a 21st. It's a boy's 21st birthday party. And oh my God, it kicked off something rotten. I mean, what was really, really funny was that, you know, when there's boys and alcohol, you're going to be in for trouble, especially at that age. But my God, it was absolutely hilarious. I mean, oh my God. <sighs> There was people outside in the street, parents outside in the street. It was just super duper funny. Um, I know it was nothing was too bad that happened. It didn't seem like anyone got hurt or anything like that, but it just was super duper funny. Um, as anyone, you know, kids at that age, I mean, having a drink, but it was just the parents seemed to be worse than the kids. Okay, the time is just before one and I'm just going to have a coffee and a donut. I haven't had anything else to eat today yet, which I know is super bad. But I've got Asda coming soon and I think we're going to have a man chops for dinner. Hi everyone, the time is around about half past two. I'm still waiting for my Asda shop delivery to arrive. It's supposed to arrive between one and three. So that'll be here really soon. I'll show you, I'll give you a sneak peek of what I've got as well, but I will be doing a grocery haul of it as well. Um, I'm watching a little bit of Formula One, um, not too much. I've been like watching it and watching YouTube at the same time. Also, what I was gonna ask you, who are all your favorite YouTubers? Um, I love, who do I love? I like watching Jerry Grassetta, Shan XO, all the usuals, Carly by Bell, my two gay dads. Um, who else do I like watching? Um, Catching Up with the Contis is another one. I love <laughs> watching them. And uh, da, 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 da. I like Nicole Guerrero, but I actually like her car vlogs more than I do her makeup tutorials now. Oh, yeah, comment below. Let me know who your favourite YouTube um, people are. And then I, if, I, if I'm not subscribed to them already, I'd love to check them out. Hi, the time is 20 past four. I'm just having a couple of crumpets to eat because I haven't had anything else since earlier on. And... Also, my flipping Asda delivery has not arrived. It was due between one and three. I'm going to give another chat about that in a minute, in a little while, because I'm royally pissed off about it, actually. But yeah, it's delivered between what was supposed to come between one and three and hasn't turned up. Hi, everyone. The time is around about six o'clock, and I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, I've have had an absolute shit of a day. Um, my as to home delivery um, order never turned up. I'm really royally fucking pissed off at them. Um, it was due between one and three. So I normally give them if they're a little bit late, I give them a little bit of leeway time because I think oh, I could be stuck in traffic. You know, they might have someone who wants them to bring all the groceries to their door. Anyway, so I always give them a little bit of leeway because I think, oh, you know, 15, 20 minutes doesn't matter. So it got to 20 past three and I'll give, I thought I'd give them a call. So as usual, you go through to this call centre in South Africa. One thing they need to pay attention to is having a call centre in South Africa does not work when you're on a resolve a problem when the store is in Kent. Ah, so anyway, I go through the whole process, yada, yada, yada. Um, I explain that my shopping isn't there. Um, I, and just to give you a little bit of background, I've been getting Asda home shopping deliveries from them for years. I mean, you've had the odd problem, like you do with all these things, but on the whole, it's not been terrible. We've had a few problems, don't get me wrong, but it's always been resolved, and they've actually tried to resolve it. Um, but this time, absolutely effing useless. So, anyway, go through it. As I said, Supposed to be here between one and three, give them a call at 20 past three, get through to the call center, which is based in South Africa. Um, she said to me on her system, the driver had wrote down that the delivery was rejected and he was waiting between one minute past three, which I find very hard to believe, and 20 past three or 19 minutes past three. Today's been a really hot day. I've had all my front windows wide open. So for one, I would have heard the driver the, in their truck, in their van, come past and hear like a reversing sound when he parks so for one I would have heard that didn't hear that um I would have heard him getting the stuff in and out of the van like sliding the doors getting the putting the crates on the floor heard bugger rule and um yeah and 
I was sitting a metre from the front door. I kid you not. Did anybody ring at the doorbell? Did they? Fucking hell. Nobody rang at the bloody doorbell. Anyway, so they said it's been rejected. And I said, well, hang on a minute. It hasn't been because I haven't, for one, have not... Um, sorry, a bit wobbling then. I, have for one, have not um, rejected the order. Nobody's been at the door. I've been here all day. So... The lady on the phone actually wasn't very helpful. Um, I could hardly bloody hear her. She said she's going to call the store while I was on the phone. Anyway, she did that. She um, uh, couldn't get through to them. She said, oh, somebody from the store is going to give you a call back. And I said, well, will they do me that? Call me back soon. I said, I want to know what's going on. Oh, I said, will it be, you know, I'll, I'll try and get them to call you back today. So hang on a minute. I've just spent, what, 60 odd quid. And you're saying you're going to try and get them to call me back today. No... <laughs> absolute joke so anyway i asked her what store it was at so it was the bell i think it i go so i called up the direct store you know called up the store directly because i thought this is the easiest way to sort this out so called the store directly anyway so i did that got through to a girl actually was a bit more helpful however she said the delivery driver and she can't call him even though her sat nav it says he was in my area <laughs> um she can't call him because he's left his phone at home, uh, in the office or at home or something so she can't call him to get him to go back because also when you call a call centre they'll never ever get through to the store ever they never get through to the store for some reason and then they also they never call you back and they never rectify a problem they don't they're supposed to be customer service but they've got no customer service skills and they have no power to actually resolve any kind of problem when it's something like this they can give you refunds supposedly and things like that but anything else you you know you you just might as well sort it out yourself which is what i did so called the store up he left his phone at home she said the only thing she can do is give me a call um a little bit later on when another driver's in to see if he can read deliver the stuff you know instead anyway so she, i said will that be within the hour because i need to know what's going on remember i'd left this a little while so anyway um i gave so i gave about an hour and 25 minutes still no call back so i called the store back and oh yeah, just she said she was like oh, I was just about to call you. I was dealing with a customer, whatever. Um, okay, she said oh the driver who I was talking to doesn't can't do your route for you tonight. He can't take your shopping because also the original driver who had your original shopping hasn't come back to the store yet. I was like okay. I said well can I rebook it for tomorrow morning? And no, you have to do that through the call centre. Okay. I said, you can't just do that there. I've had this a few times in the past. There was, I've had a couple of instances where the driver has been really late and they've just said, oh, yeah, we'll just, you know, do it on a later delivery. Or it's not happened very often. Or there was another time when I think the guy, oops, sorry, the um, driver, he broke down. So they had to reorganise delivery. And it was all done through the store. She said she can't do that. She has no access to any of the accounts. So I was like, okay, so I'll call back the call centre. She said, give me them, them my direct number. It's 240. And then they can call me while I'm on the phone to you to get them to, you know, rebook this delivery for, won't be today for tomorrow, I guess. So I went, okay. And also, let me bear in mind you, I've now got to call back a call centre who hung up on me the original time as well because I said, this is not rectifying the problem. I said, I need to know how you're going to rectify the situation because I've been waiting indoors all day for this and nobody's called me. I'm the one who's been calling them up. So I called a call centre up and, um, um, they again not very helpful uh, and they sort of said to me oh um I said I've, I've got a, I'm not sure I'm going to do any more shopping with you after all this and um, they didn't once offer me any kind of, I don't expect loads of money off of them but I said as I, I've got a delivery pass with you I want to have yeah especially today's delivery refunded because it hasn't arrived can't do that and I said, well, actually, I now want the whole delivery pass, the remainder of what it is on left on next. So I've got a six-month pass. Um, we can't refund you that. I'm like, okay. Do you know what? I spend thousands with them a year. Thousands. And if they're not willing to have my custom, I'm going to take it elsewhere. So what I said to them, I said, okay, I'm going to cancel this delivery. They didn't once try to keep me as a customer. Not once. I'm not one of these people, these loony people who goes ranting on the internet about shit like this because, quite frankly, normally I don't give a fuck. But I wanted to get this sorted. I've been hanging around all day. The time is now about half past six. And I've only just recently come off the call centre to um, them the second time around just to say, look, cancel my order. And she said, well, it's in the pending process. It shouldn't be taken from your account. But if it does, you'll have to talk to your bank. Why the hell would I need to talk to my bank? They're not going to give me the refund. They're the ones who give me the refund. So do you know what? I've just had it with Asda now. I'm going to stop moaning. I'm going to calm down. But I've got no bloody groceries. I've got no food in. 
and breathe, Gemma. So yeah, all in all, I've had a real shit of a day. Okay, so I've calmed down a little bit now. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go to Audi tomorrow morning and do a shop there. I've never done a, like a, I've got the odd few bits from there, but I never bought anything more than that from them. So it should be interesting to see how they compare price wise. And I'm gonna run myself a wealth. Hi everyone, time is just for 9 o'clock in the evening and this is my tea for tonight, it's chilli chicken with whole milk rice, um, this is what I just had, I'd made a while ago in the freezer because flipping ads, they didn't deliver my bloody food! <laughs> 